Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Muhammad Saeed with you again. In this video, we're going to learn how to use JavaScript selectors and we're also going to see some examples and we're going to see how to use them and where to use them. So let's get started with our new video. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about JavaScript selectors. Um, so first of all, we're going to go to our notepad. Yeah, here. So first today we're going to learn something new called query selectors and um, query selector helps you to highlight everything with a class name. So let's say um, you're going to type document.query selector all then um, you're going to put parentheses and then um, apostrophe then dot and then say the name of the class name. Uh, this is one way, but it's not the easiest. Um, it's the most advanced one. Um, the easiest is the one on top. You see document that get elements by tag name. Um, what this is gonna do is, um, it's gonna see in your whole um, website. It's gonna see if you have anything, um, if you have any paragraphs or um, whatever you type in this MP, if you say instead of P, you say H1, you're gonna get all the H1s you have. Um, yeah, after that, you have the same thing documents that get element by class name and um, not tag name uh, because here we're going to get um, all the class names with the name done or anything else you type in. The same thing for ID. Um, yeah, so let's see how this works. Copy our code. Um, Control Shift I or right click inspect element and go to your console. Um, I'm gonna clear everything. Yeah, so we're going to say document, document the get elements by tag name um, p and then after that um, click enter yeah and f don't forget um, after document dot get everything is capital the e is capital the beginning of all the words are capital um, yeah so press enter you're gonna see it just tells you that you have um, two but it, it doesn't tell you where are they, where is the code. It just tells you how much you have. So, yeah, let's try that again. Um, we're going to say P. Yeah, so now we want, to, uh, we want it to print the exact one like we want to get the first one. Um, yeah, so if you want to get the first one, put those kind of brackets and then inside of them say 0 or 1. Or the number that it is if it's um, one it's gonna be zero you know it's the programming numbers so yeah here now you see it gave me the code if I did the same thing and typed in one it's going to work so let me try that it says P but inside it there is dots because um, here there's a lot of text when I press over here, you're going to see that here is my paragraph. Same thing, um, it also works with class names. So let's try that. I'm going to say tag. Instead of tag, we're going to say class. Um, class name. Um, so let's see if we have any class names in our website. Um, here my website then go to your index your main place you see i have logo python and a lot so let's just say python i'm gonna say python so i'm going to say python um we don't really need this we're going to see html collection img.python if you click on it, yeah, you're going to see some stuff. But here you see the code. And it, the same thing also works with IDs. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to learn how to create a variable 
and this variable um, when you say the name of it when you type it you're gonna get what you stored inside of it but with the documents so we're going to say variable p tag or anything you can say h1 or anything i'm just gonna say p tags for now and equal documents dot get element by tag name and then p because yeah you can say anything but i'm just gonna go with p because it stands for paragraph and this is for paragraphs so yeah you can say you can do this without um this yeah without num uh, number one and then say p tags you're going to see it does the same thing when you type this it's much uh, it's much easier but its problem is for now it doesn't show us um it still doesn't show us where is our code like the class name so to do that just say one or zero the number of your um class or tag name that you want to find then i'm gonna say p tags and here you go it works um, so some of you those stuff won't work with them um, yeah and that's because there's something there's a website called can I use dot com and um, so most of you or like some of you are not using the newest browsers so some of the stuff won't be available in your browsers if they're the old browsers or if you if you're using Firefox Edge Internet Explorer um, Opera Mini, anything else, it won't work properly. So you see here, um, why I recommend Chrome because it has, um, it has almost everything that you need. So yeah. So let me wrap up what we learned in this video. And um, first of all, we learned um, the codes. Uh, we learned what happens when we get them. We saw some examples. And for every one of them, we saw how to create a variable that when you say its name, it gives you um, any element that you want, any p tag or anything in your website. And we also um, knew why some of you guys, um, it won't work with them. Some of you guys, yeah, it won't work with them because the vision of your browser. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and the web development series so far. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.